hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is evidence and in today's video i am going to show you how to create a cross tab so what is a cross tab a cross tab is a tabulation of two different categorical variables and you'll see what i mean here in a second but first let's go ahead and load our data and let's go ahead and import pandas Pandas are speedy. Shift enter execute the cell you are currently in and create a new code cell below it. And let's go ahead and read our data frame. Let's go ahead and read our data frame and let's call it df is equal to pd.read. And we want to read our URL. So basically, um, here we can get a preview of our data frame by doing df.head, which shows you the first five rows. And here, um, state is a categorical variable. Um, Cosmo Latin values and integer response is a categorical variable. Coverage is a categorical variable. Education is a categorical variable. So we can do a cross tab between, let's say, um, coverage and employment status or something um, random like that, or um, employment status and education. So let's go ahead and do that. So we can do um, PD, PD dot cross tab. And then um, we specify the columns we want to use for our cross tab. So we can see DF um, coverage, why not? And DF, we said um, education, right? So we wanted to look at coverage and education and maybe do another one at education and employment status. Now, if we go ahead and execute this, and um, this is what our cross tab looks like. We have education here as our index, and then we have no, we have coverage as our index, and we have education as our columns. And basically, is this um, chart chart here is showing that um, with something with a coverage of basic, and also is bachelor is about a thousand. Coverage of basic and also college is about 1600. Coverage of basic and also doctorate is about 200. So basically, um, this cross tab is like taking two categorical values and getting um, the tabulation between them. You know, so a person, people with coverage of premium and also a doctorate education is about 20. And of course, um, we could um, do this for different categories. And let's maybe do coverage and um, employment status. Here we have another cross tab that shows um, people with employment status of disabled and doctorate is 22. People with retired and high school um, 72. And the people with employment status of medical leave and college is about 145. So again, we have another tabulation between two categorical values. On the basics, that's how you do a cross tab. Something else you could also do with a cross tab is to plot your cross tab. You could also do a cross tab between a categorical value and an integer, but there's no point in doing that. Like it doesn't look good. It doesn't really provide you with uh, much data. You know, it doesn't like give you any useful information. So a tabulation between a, a, a tabulation between a categorical value and an integer doesn't give you much useful information. You can also do it between two integers. So let's say we do it um, income and monthly premium auto, something like that. Again, you get um, a cross tab, but again, not very useful information. So cross tabs are ideal for categorical values. 
and not um, integers. You could also plot your cross tab results. So for example, if I go ahead and copy this, we could, we could do dot plot and then we can do kind equal to bar. We want this to be a bar graph. If I can type today. And then we can do stacked equal to true. Actually, this needs to be a um, small letter bar. All right, so basically we have plotted our cross tab and here it tells you, it gives you the different colors. And this is using matplotlib. So basically, if you are working offline, if you're working outside of Google Colab, make sure you install matplotlib in your environment first. So we have a um, bachelor, college, um, doctorate, high school or below and then master. And then, and we have the different coverage, um, coverage that they have, you know, and we could also uh, remove the stacked option and kind of um, just get a bar graph and we can just plot it even without um, specifying the type of, without specifying the type of graph we want. And it will just um, create a line graph by default. So that is um, the basics of how to create a cross tab and the basis of how to plot your cross tab. And you could also assign your cross tab to a variable. So if I go ahead and copy this, I could do something like um, V equal to this and then just type in V and also um, get um, the result. And if you save um, this cross tab to a variable like this, you can also treat that variable as a data frame. This is basically um, treated as a data frame. So you could do V and let's say bachelor for example to get um, the bachelor column. So you can save your cross tab to a data um, to a variable and treat that data that variable as a data frame. And if you um, highlight um, the variable that you start, it was, you see in Google Colab that it tells you that this is a data frame and it has a shape of three by five. That's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not like it, but you made it this far in the video, please give it a double thumbs down and subscribe to the channel either way. And you can find me online at evidencen.com. This is my primary website where I have my blog posts and I post tutorial data science stuff here. And also to get access to this notebook that I use in today's tutorial, you have to go to machine learning education.com slash free. This is um, the main website. And from here you can click on this or you can just go to machine learning education.com slash free. And here I have my free data science resources, including this notebook. And I create a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of um, blog posts, tutorial content. And I just found it easier to take all my notebook and resources and put it together under one platform. So if you go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free, you'll get, be able to get access to all my free data science resources, including this notebook and some videos. And sometimes I post videos in this platform before I post it on YouTube. Again, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.